Final. It's a final only event, so we haven't seen these combinations before. We have seven entries for seven lanes. From left to right, we have Riverfront, we're captured. Saugatuck, Texas Center from Austin, Texas in lane five. Three Rivers in lane four. San Diego in lane three. Nashville in lane two. And Texas Center again in lane one. The Texas Center stroke seats are Lynch in lane one and Misk or Miski in lane five. So I uh, believe this is the only seven boat eight final that we've seen all day. So the most number of athletes lining up at that start line. Um, That's true. Quick math. How quick many? Math. How many? How many boats? Is, how many athletes is that? Sixty-three. Nice. Okay. Well done. Thank you. Never forget the coxswain. You can never, never forget. Never forget the coxswain. Nine times seven, folks. Don't make some kind of rookie mistake and tell me that there's only fifty-four. <laughs> No. That'd be no. a rookie mistake. That's insulting. We don't do that. Coxswains are people too. In fact, they're essential, as we've discussed. As we've discussed, would be uh, truly reckless to send eights out here without a coxswain. Plus, then you have to have a, a brain. Yeah. Yeah. Give your brain away. Give your brain to the coxswain. Just do what you're told. Hand it off. And so this should promise to be a very fast race. We'll see how these athletes are faring with the conditions. The average ages in this event range from 55 to 62. But again, those are the boat averages. The athletes, would you look at this? Benjamin Moorcroft in this river riverfront recapture boat, only 19. Okay. That's bringing the average pretty pretty way down, I would say. Yep. So we have a full range from, let me do a quick scan. Oh my gosh, I eat my words. Catherine DeRose of the Saugatuck crew. Did they, are they here? They are. 17 years old. So this. So a 17 year old coxswain there in that boat. Yep. So this race is ranging from age 17 to, I see, 74. Wow. 81, excuse me. 81. It's hard to scan 63 names. I apologize. So quite the range of experience levels, both in life and in the sport of rowing. So we're seeing this race shaping up early here, right off the start line. Our early leaders seem to be a riverfront recapture over there in lane seven, and then Texas Rowing Center of that boat in lane five, stroke seat, Miski, Miski. But the rest of the field looking pretty close. Good. Time will tell if these two early leaders will be able to hold their lead over the rest of the field, whether or not it will be a race between first and second, and then a four boat race for third. Already across that 500 meter mark, we're Just in the second half, half of the half race. Here. So we're seeing the full range of everything here today from some of our singles that, uh, you know, might take well over four minutes to get down to these uh, eights where we're seeing some perhaps three minute race times. So in this leading crew from Texas Center, we have Sharon Smith, Coxing, Scott Forrest, Khalil Shalabi, Brian Minzenmeyer, Craig Johnson, Philip Ellis, Fred Gray, Fred Frey, excuse me, Bob Morse, and Eric Miski. Average age of this crew is 55. Really throwing down an impressive race here as they come into those red buoys. They're in their sprint, stepping together as one. Beautiful shot here overhead. As we shift to our finish camera, we can see all eights tearing down the course. Riverfront Recapture holding on to their second place position. And it is a battle separated by maximum of two seats for that third place. Appears to be our crew here. 
that once started beside the Texas Center, now left behind in their wake, but appears to have now six seats over the next crew, solidifying their third place. They'll come over the line here. Great racing, all crews. And coming up, we have our last race of the evening. We have the parent, child, mother, son, father, daughter, doubles, final.